Okay, as you can tell, we've gone ahead and placed the axles in here. Notice on the on the right hand side of the car that the axle is shorter because we placed a uh, measured coincident mate of 10 millimeters as, as versus the other side. This is normal. It's not to be uh, be confusing. What will most likely happen after we place all of our parts in the car, we'll go back to the original part file for the axle and modify the distance, which is why I set my width on this center extrude for my wing as well as on the back to 36 millimeters. That way I know ahead of time I'm going to have to come back and modify the length of this axle. So let's go back to our design library and let's start placing our bushings. I'm going to go back up to the dragster parts here and I'm going to look for my brass washer. So I'm going to place that out here in my file and oops, let's get out of this mate. Go back up here. We're going to grab this um, brass washer and place it here, here, and again, pre-positioning it on my screen, I'll come to the other side and place all four there. That's why using the design libraries is so much faster than individually going up and selecting the insert components command. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and mate these all concentric and mate these all to the surface of the actual side of the wheel pods as you see here. And we'll come back to this. Well, as you can tell, I've gone ahead and placed the axles and I placed the, um, the bushings and washers and all that in place and I've gone ahead and mated those. So now what I'll do is come back over to design libraries and I'll look for my front wheels. And there's the front wheel I want to place. I'll drag it out here, put it in place. Put that one over there and I'll go ahead and hit escape so I don't continue to place those. So now all I'm going to do is do a mate that is concentric to the axle. So I've done that, accept that, and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pre-position this one as well on the front side, on the right hand side, and do that one as well. And I'll select that on this face and then I'll come up here and select this one. Actually, I didn't want to do that, so I'll come back over here to mates, and I'll delete that one, and I'll select this instead. And as you can tell, it's placed that guy right in there just as I needed it. So I'll zoom back out, come over here, do the same on this side, rotate this around, and select that face. Now, that's in place. Good. Okay, so again, we'll go back and we'll place a few more of the washers in place. We'll go ahead and just, oh, got to get out of that mate command. Go here and grab another washer here and another washer here. I know I'm going to um, possibly use a washer on this side as well. And I'll go ahead and pre-position one as well on that outside. Now what I'll also do is I'll go ahead and get out of that command. And again, I will align all these mates and get to that. I'll come back to that. All right, now I've got the front wheels put in place, as you see right here, with the uh, washers where they need to be. Go back to my design library, and at this time I'm going to place my rear wheel. So I'll grab that and pull it out here, and then I'll grab this one and pull it over there. What's important now to note is how I made this recess right here. That may be a value that I come back and change on the distance of this, ex of this cut that I created to create this inner hub, as you see on the dragster there. So let's go ahead and start doing some mates on this. So what I will do now is I will select the outer part of the wheel and select mate and then I will select this part of the axle which makes it concentric. I'm going to go ahead and check that off but drag that axle off here, excuse me, drag the wheel off the axle out to here. Now at this point in time I will select this face here with that face and then I will, as you can tell, it's going right into the block. Well, that's not what I want, so I'm going to flip that mate around, and it says alignment errors. Oh, we got to check on this. Uh, we'll check that off. It looks like it took it, actually, so we're going to go with that for now. But to make sure that it mated properly, let's go ahead and look at the back view of the car, and let's change ourselves to wire uh, frame view, and I can see where my actual wheel hub is lined up way inside here. Let's, I uh, can't really tell actually from that. So what I will do is go up here and I'll do what's called a section cut, which is this guy right here. And I'll do a section cut away so I can see where that is. I'll go back to shaded with wireframe edges and we'll zoom out and we'll look and see where the section cut is. Wow, it's way over here. I can actually pull it all the way over to this edge right in the center of that axle. 
and I can rotate it around and I will check this off to verify where this mate actually took place. This is actually kind of neat looking because then you can kind of slice and dice right through your model to see where it's at. And as you can tell, I've got a little bit of room here to play with. So I'm going to do a front view here and I can actually go in and modify this extrude cut on the dragster wheel and move it in closer and tighter. And I'll probably go back and do that now as we're discussing this. So how do I do that? Well, I've got a couple options here. One, I can select the actual part, do a right mouse click, and let's do this first. Let's go back and go to assembly. I'm going to select this part here. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, oh, there it is. I don't select on the face that I cut to. I select on this part of the car. And I can come back in and I can modify that. It says the assembly must be saved to perform this command. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll save this and rebuild it. We've got to give it a name. We're going to call this Spear Dra uh, CO2 Dragster Assembly. Okay. Now, we'll make it better version 2. It's 001. Okay, that looks good. So now it's going to save that, and then it's going to open up this part. And when it opens up the part, look over here on the Feature Manager. It goes over here, and we'll scroll down, and it shows this highlighted in blue with a rear wheel. So I can expand on that, and I can come down and find that extrude cut, which is that part right there. And as you can see highlighted over in the screen, it's this blue area. So if I expand that and right mouse click and edit that assembly, I can go in and change the extrude on that. Well, probably what I'll do in this case is key in the number 8 for millimeters and hit enter. And let's see what happens when I do that and check that off. Well, I don't really know what's going to happen until I go back to my front view and then I do a rebuild of my model. And when I do a rebuild of my model, it puts it really, really close, probably closer than I need it. So that's not a problem. We're going to go ahead and modify that extrude cut again to actually 7 millimeters on that cut. So I key in 7, I accept that, and then I'll come back here and do a rebuild again by doing Control B, and you'll see the changes. Now that gives me plenty of clearance. That looks great. I'm going to go with that. So for now, what you need to understand is I've modified not only this wheel, but the other wheel on the opposite side, which is good. Well, I want to go back to the assembly and get out of editing that individual part. So I'll, I'll end that session by click, kicking, clicking Edit Component, and now I'm out of that. And then now I will remove that uh, section view by turning that off. So now you can see my wheel is in place there, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop here, and then when I come back, I'll have already mated this, uh, this other wheel and all these washers.